sorry. I love eating carrots. One of my favorite foods. So, I decided to make a soap. <laughs> now they're in my vegetable line. This is a carrot and turmeric, ginger, and honey soap. And guess what I used as a fragrance oil in it? The oregano essential oil. The one that causes everything to seize up. Well, I intentionally used it in this soap to make it seize up. That's right. Yeah, because that's how I roll. I'm just that kind of guy. Yeah. So uh, stick around. Grab a carrot. And let's make some soap. <laughs> so I've got my carrot puree done. This is my turmeric and oil. And I'm going to go ahead and juice my ginger now. Ginger juice. Perfect. So I've got my honey here. And I'm going to add just a bit of water to it, just a tad. It just makes it easier to distribute. Now one thing I'm going to do here, in my carrot puree I'm adding two spoonfuls of tomato powder. The reason for that is that Carrot puree, after a short bit of time, tends to turn a little brown. So by adding the tomato powder into it, even when the carrot turns brown, the tomato powder will keep it bright. So just a little tip from my own experience. All right, so I have my lye water ready here. I lie and sea salt water, I should say. And I have reduced this um, because of the carrot puree because and the ginger juice that I made. So, and the bit of honey. So I've reduced the water quite a bit here to add those extra ingredients. There we go. To this, I'm going to add the uh, turmeric, sorry, I blanked out for a moment. This is the turmeric, in, and it is in just a little bit of the oils from this recipe, just so it would mix a little better, although it has kind of solidified into a glue on the bottom now. I didn't you put too much oil in it. Yep. So that's our turmeric. I'm going to add in the orange. The orange. I mean the carrot puree and the tomato powder that I added.
And finally, the ginger juice. I won't add the honey until right at the end. This is that wonderful ginger juice that I extracted a few minutes ago. And I am not adding any fragrance to this. The ginger alone with the carrot, it has all that it needs. This is a very simple soap to make, but I want to tell you that, in my opinion, it's one of the nicer soaps that you can make for your face. Um, if you have any kind of blemishes, um, this turmeric, and there is plenty of research on turmeric, and ginger for that matter, and carrot, but we'll go one at a time. Uh, turmeric is known to be an antibacterial and antiseptic, has antiseptic properties, and is very good on acne prone face. This has tomato in it, okay, and we know with the, we've got tomato, we've got carrot, here we have the ginger. All of these have reputed health benefits, or skin benefits, I apologize. So certainly something to research yourself and look into. I love it. Um, and I hope you'll give this a try too. It really is a luxurious soap. Uh, and with the butters and oils in it, it's, it's just terrific. Okay, so I'm gonna get the honey in and hit it with the stick blender and get it right in the mold before it sets up. So I'm adding the honey. And we're hitting it with the blender. Oh, it smells lovely, it really does. If you like the smell, of fresh herbs and fresh vegetables. <laughs> and I realize this goes along with the theme of the one that I just made, the eat your veg, or don't just eat your vegetables. <laughs> so, and I'm doing a very short series of these. There will be another one put up very soon, which is a collaboration with my friend Renee. And I'm really looking forward to that one. I'm just, I have, actually am writing a song. Well, I'm editing someone else's song, um, and I'll just give you a taste of it. If you know the song Creep by Radiohead, well, I've changed it just a little bit to the main ingredient of that particular soap. Because I'm a sweet, I'm a potato. That's it. That's the clue. <laughs> All right, so this is great. It's not going to trace too fast. I'm very happy about that. You know, and I just had a thought. Ah, ooh, boy, that was a close one, wasn't it? And I'm glad I had glove on. I need to be very careful when I'm doing things like that. What I'm going to do, I'll be, hang on, I'll be right back. You know what I decided to do? You're gonna think I'm crazy. I know you are. You'll see this is a little slow to set up. Remember this? I'm going to add just a tad to this soap since it's a vegetable so, vegetable themed soap, this seems like a good idea to me. And do I know that this could cause it to go crazy? And yes, I do. So I'm gonna pour it in, let's see. 
Oh, that smells fantastic. I just love the smell. It's just so mean behaving. I know you think I'm crazy, right? I'm gonna add it in. I'm gonna stir it just with a whisk or something and get it right in the mold. So get my whisk ready here. And it goes. And you see that it is already thickening up. You see that? That's <laughs> in this particular instance, that's okay. Look at that. Do you see that? <laughs> see, and I knew that was gonna happen this time. So I'm okay with it. That was a plan. I know what you think I'm crazy, right? Why would he use that stuff again? Wow, it sets up just. That's what it does. But that's okay. In this particular instance, I know that I got it to trace. It just wasn't quite thick as I wanted it. And, I, and since, I can always just scrape that off. That's not a problem. Boy, and it just goes immediately. Do you see? I mean, that is completely seized up. That's what that stuff does. But I knew that this time, I went in as an active participant. <laughs> so we'll come back later and we'll cut this. Thank you so much. So hi, <laughs> we're back. This sucker set up so fast. Well, you saw how it did in the mold, and look how nice it came out. Isn't that great? It, it's just solid, it's hard, it's everything that you want out of a soap. Um, the only issue is the, you know, the ugly top. <laughs> but that, of course, I can shave right off. I'm tempted to do that first, but I'll just do it afterwards. But um, yeah, the, the top didn't, you know, came out real rough. And that's because the bottom was fluid and then you know as I was scraping out that last bit it kind of got gloppy on top so that'll all clean up so. it smells wonderful and I'm so happy to be able to use that oregano and now I know how to use it <laughs> really fast at the end <laughs> just cutting really nice it's very simple um, you know what it, what's in it right it's carrot and, and turmeric and ginger and honey and I can smell the honey So I have a question, and I really would like for you to answer this in the comments if you would. First of all, I'd like to ask that if you haven't subscribed, that you do so, and that if you have subscribed, that you click the bell so that you get notifications of my videos as they upload. And I do try to upload a couple times a week, more if possible. Um, but I'd like to ask you all a question, and if you'd please answer it uh, in the comments, I would really appreciate it. And that is, what would you like more than anything else to see me do? What have you, or what have you seen someone else done that you would like to see me do a version of? Or um, what have you not seen me do that you'd like to see me try? Let me know. You're not going to hurt my feelings either. I don't want anybody to worry about um, saying anything about, well, you haven't done this very well. Maybe you should try that again. 
Um, it's okay. <laughs> I have tough skin. All right, so thank you all so very much. I really appreciate you so very much. I look forward to seeing your comments and suggestions or questions or criticisms. Um, and let me know if there is anything at all um, that you would like, if you have a special request, and it doesn't mean you have to buy it. Okay, I want to be very clear on that too. You can request that I make something, and that doesn't mean that you have to buy it. Um, I enjoy doing this, so feel free to ask. Thanks again, everyone. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.